eight, eight different tactics. Who's going to come out on top in this challenge? Welcome back to the channel, folks. How's it going? This one's a bit different. This isn't about me or anything I'm doing. I've employed the help of my patrons over from my Discord with a little tactic test. By the way, how... Look at this. The backdrop's so bright because the weather. Arrogate. So I set a challenge. I set a challenge to the guys on the Discord. If you're interested in jumping in the Discord, it's for patrons only. You get loads of stuff going on there. The boys chat back and forth about tactics, players. It's great in there. I set them a challenge. Show me your best tactic. Let's put them against each other. Let's see what happens. Eight gents have stepped up. All these tactics are superb. They've all had success with them in their saves. So let's see what can happen when we put them all together with the same team under the same conditions. So here's the hateful eight that we're going to be using today. There's the various I love names on tactics, by the way. I use wrestling for mine, but some of these boys, superb. Look at that. Still not effing with strikers. Scarlett Johansson, positive tick attacker. Palmo Garlic Sauce. That's got to be a Middlesbrough inspired one. Chris Ball, Kralov's Revenge, Jackson 5, and the most ingenious, inventive one of them all, 4-2-3-1, Kevin. And that's where we're going to kick it off today, with the 4-2-3-1, Kevin V90. Now, he uses this save for Ajax. And disclaimer, this man is King Tweaker. He will go through a season taking hours and hours and hours just to get through to pre-season. So a sim of his tactic is probably not the fairest way, but he's put it forward. Let's see what sort of damage it does. So before I show you his tactic, we are using Atalanta Serie A. Reason I'm being them is they've got a good, broad squad that can cover a lot of positions because obviously everyone's going to have different tactics and formations. And they're not one of the totally elite teams either. They're predicted to finish 7th. So that's the baseline, that's the barometer. We've got to finish above 7th and not get sacked. So what we'll do now is we'll load in his tactics. So we're going to go down my tactic list here into Discord squad tactics. And they're all here ready and waiting. So we'll start with Kev's. Here it goes. And there it is. So we've got an alternative version of a 4 2 3 one We've got a half-back back there. Now what I'll do while I'm having a look here is, for those who are interested in this tactic and the way he's built it, I'll slowly go across the player instructions as well. So you can see there, I'm not going to go into them, I'm just going to click them up on screen. So if you want to see them, the download will be below, but you can obviously, for Xbox users, here are the player instructions as well. It's an interesting one, isn't it? We've got a roaming playmaker, two inverted wingers on attack, and a target forward, which I absolutely love. Let's see how it does. Ooh, okay, so it's finished right on the brink there in 7th position. You can see that it's played 38, won 16, drawn 12, lost 10. But he's got 7th place just. How has he done in the Cups? Competitions. Oh, he nearly took the Cup down. So he nearly took the Serie A, knocked out in the first round by Liverpool. Having a little look closer, what we have got is a hell of a defensive record. If we just look at Atalanta there, they're going across. He's only conceded 28 goals all season in 38 games. You can see his issue with this team was the goal scoring. Only 45 scored, so that's the lowest in top eight. So that's where the issue arose. Other than that, he hasn't been battered by anyone. The defeats are just the odd goal here and there. So I'm pretty confident if he was actually in charge of this, he would have made the tweaks and got them higher up the table. But it's not bad, is it? He's got knocked out of the Champions League by Liverpool, I think it is. Let's have a scroll down. Yep, there it is. And you can see he actually won the first leg, which you all know is no mean feat against Liverpool. Beat them 1-0 at home. And away from home, Liverpool turned it around 2-0 with a late goal from Origi. But Kev, mate, that's not a bad result. That's not a bad result. I'm confident we have some tweaks to this tactic while you were playing that, going a bit more aggressive here and there. You would have turned that around. Right, next up is Jackson 5 by my man Stevie. And you can see, I recognise the shape on this one. It's 4 3 one, two, my favourite shape in the game. And with the players Atalanta got, I'm expecting decent stuff from this one, you know. Got two wing backs in here, they'll do the same thing. Play instructions that Stevie has put on across there. So we've got two traditional centre backs, full back on support, less aggressive. We've got Mazala there with Piscina, who's going to be a right baller in that role. Deep line playmaker holding it together, box to box. I'm loving this already. Attacking midfielder on attack. It's a super aggressive tactic. It's a deep line forward and an advanced forward as well. Team instructions down the side. This is the second lad who hasn't pushed up high. Look at that. It's quite a quite a deep line, which is interesting. How this is going to do in Serie A. I've had success with this shape, but it's different at this one. So let's see how the man does in his test. 
Would you Adam and Eve it? It's an exactly the same league position as Kev's. Stevie's Jackson's tactic, the Jackson 5, finishes 7th place. On the brink of the sack, maybe, but he claims a 7th place. Now, in the cup competitions, how did he do? And unbelievably, folks, also like Kev, runner-up in the Coppa Italia, and also like Kev, knocked out in the Champions League by Liverpool. Now, looking at this one closer, and this is to be expected with that tactic, obviously the defensive record is not as good as the last one. He's conceded 49. But on the flip side of that, he's also scored 73, which is getting up there, isn't it? It's getting up to the top edges there. He's finished seventh, 67 points. Looks like we died away towards the end of the season. Let's have a look at the schedule. Yeah, it started like a house on fire. A couple of defeats of Roma, Inter and Bayern picking them off. But after that, a decent, decent run. Woof, Monaco. And the end of the season, because it's quite a high intense tactic, I'm thinking that's where they started dropping off. You can see losses sprinkled in all over the place. Bit of a lame finish at the end of the season, losing to Inter in the Coppa Italia final and finishing in seventh place. So that's two tactics now, two seventh place. Coppa Italia runners up. What's next? Next one, this was submitted by the brilliantly named Squirrel Master, the master of squirrels. And he's been using this in his journeyman save. And he's in the Czech Republic at the minute. So this will be interesting if it works. Another take on a 4 2 3 1. So we can compare it to the way Kev V Knight has worked. Pretty traditional looking so far. First impression that it's a lovely, well balanced tactic. You can see a wing back on support paired with the inside forward on attack. Two centre backs. Play instructions are minimal, which I quite like actually. Wing back on attack. Paired with a winger. Interesting. We've got a deep line playmaker. Box to box midfielder. Hey, I said. Play instructions were minimal. He hasn't put any in. I love that even more. Attacking midfield on attack and an advance forward. How good is that? And yet again, this is interesting to see. This is a growing trend in FM, I find. The defensive line is set to standard and not pushing it all up. So I've got high hopes for this one. Let's see how Krelov's revenge does. Okay, now we're talking. This man has got Atalanta into the Champions League and only six points off the title. Let's have a look at the other competitions. Here we go. And ladies and gentlemen, we have our first silverware of the little test there. He's taken down the Coppa Italia, so he's took the cup. He's finished fourth, only losing the six games. And look at that, by one goal at a time. Let's have a look in a bit more detail. Fourth place, 23 big wins, nine draws, only the six defeats, only conceded 39. Top scorers in the league, I believe, with 85. Yes, top scorers by an absolute mile. And look at this, all this with a bit of a shady start to the season. You can see there, he didn't actually win a game until mid-October. So what a turnaround that is. And do you know what? When you first start up with Atalanta, you've got Zapata and Muriel injured. So that's kind of to be expected. So to return and come back into it in this second half of the season, look at that run. Decent, very impressive, my man. The superbly named Palmo and Garlic Sauce. If this man's not from Middlesbrough, honestly, just Google Palmo and you'll know what I'm talking about. And here is a formation. Now, this one's a bit different, right? I love the way this looks. I love it, especially because it's got my new favourite role in the game. Inverted wing back on attack. Absolutely bombing into there, I presume. We've got a sweeper keeper. We've got an inverted wing back. Two centre backs. He's got some PIs on them centre backs as well. Good ones as well, passing it short, so they're not pulling them stupid balls up. Full back on support. You've got your anchor man in there holding his position, presumably to allow his inverted wing back to do what he wants. Love this as well. Wide playmaker on attack. Central midfielder on attack. Shadow striker, winger, and then advanced forward. Mentality is attacking. He's a bit more aggressive in this one. He's got a high defensive line with an offside trap. Pushing up really high. I'm really interested to see how this one does. Minimal team instructions in possession. I like to see that. Nice. Nice. This was submitted by Swain. He's using it with Middlesbrough as expected. Third in the Premier League in his second season in. So this is obviously doing bits. Let's see what it does in Serie A. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the clocks. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first title winner. Swain, my man, with the Palmo tactic. Atalanta blitz Serie A. 90 big points. Wow. Into the other competitions, and they were runner up in the cup final. So they got to the cup final all the way at the semis in the Champs League. This result hero is the one that stands out. Let's have a look in a bit more detail. Yeah, this is this is impressive stuff. 
from the 38 games. We've got 27 big wins, only two defeats. Away to Sampdoria and Lazio. I bet that's annoying for him. 103 goals, though. I mean, hello. Hell, hell of a result. A little reminder on the tactic. He's in the lead at the minute, I reckon. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful asymmetric number. That is nice. It's like a Z. Lovely. As we go down his schedule, you can see just a fire start to the season. Didn't lose up until the Barcelona away game. First defeat to Lazio there, but wins and goals all over the place. Look at this. Five against Bologna, four against Spezia, seven against Verona, five against Genoa. A little bit lower down, even more impressive. Two back-to-back 4-0 -back wins against Juve and Napoli. Six against Roma. This is the benchmark tactic so far. There it is, Parmo and garlic sauce. New fresh tactic submitted by Vinny for the win. This is his positive tick attacker one. Nice and simple name. But the formation, that's nice. I like this. It looks fluid. It looks aggressive. I'm enjoying the use of the false nine like this, Vinny, like this. And it looks like another banging result. You can see second place for Atalanta in Serie A, beating teams like Napoli, Inter, Roma, Juve, Lazio. Second place and just, just by two measly points from AC Milan. Another team just falling short in the Coppa Italia. So that's every team with you so far has got to at least the final and won it or came runs up. So fair play, boys, fair play. A little bit more detail on the league. Knocked out by Dortmund in the Champions League. Oh, what a performance. I feel like they deserve to win this league. Look at this. They only lost five games. Juve, Sampdoria, Napoli, Sassuolo, Genoa, all by a single goal. But we've scored 92, only conceding 29. Great running in the season, lost out by two points. Really like that tactic as well. I'm going to look at that and try and make a similar one for myself because it's really cool. I love the false nine with the two inside forward. Props to that, Vinny. Look at this. Beat PSG, no less, at home, smashing goals in all over the place. Start of the season was blooming superb. Look at this. Wolfsburg got trounced 6 1, as did Sampdoria 6 1. We hit a bit of a dodgy period down here. That might be a bit of tiredness coming in, could be injuries, not so sure. But if you look at the much higher line of engagement, much more often pressing with extremely high tempo, by the time they got to here, they were probably getting a bit tired. So if Vinny was in charge of this team, he probably might have rotated a bit better. But it's still a hell of a result finishing second with all them goals. We've hardly any conceded. Great result. 4 3 3. Loved it. Next one. Now, you know that I'm going to like this one, right? Because it features two inverted wing backs, both on attack. Man, do I love this. I've been working on a very similar shape to this. I know my good friend FM Lama uses a shape similar to this. He uses normal wing backs. This one I'm really interested in. Submitted by Patron, Mada Red is using this in Hong Kong. So it's not like it's been used at an elite level. So this is a bit of a great unknown trip, this. Let's see what this does. I'm excited. Mada Red, if you're watching, it doesn't just work in Hong Kong, my friend. It has taken down Serie A, Atalanta take it with 90 points. Oh, yes. In the other competitions, they got knocked out again by Liverpool. That is our nemesis in the Champions League. Atalanta keep drawing Liverpool and none of the boys can get past the little rascals. Semi-final to AC Milan. Both the league is where it's at. Let's have a closer look. Superb performance. Look at this. They've only conceded 22 goals. That's one of the best defensive displays I've seen, especially for a team like Atalanta. Only lost six. Again, by the odd goal to some big teams with a little random one against Empoli. But scoring 74, goal difference of 52. An immense, immense performance with that tactic. It clicked into gear pretty much straight away. You can see there, all the way down the... Results, there's hardly any reds, a little one there to Man United away, but for some reason Man United are supremely overpowered. They did beat him at home though. Little glitch down here, just the four games, a couple of cup competitions, a couple of defeats to Lazio and Inter, but they responded really well. This is superb. What a performance. Back to the tactic. And you know what? He hasn't stuck any unnecessary player instructions on there. He's at the roles and the duties. Do the work for him. There is a lot of team instructions down the side there, which you can see. It's very similar to one I've been using that he hasn't seen because I haven't published it, so fair play to this man. I'm going to take some ideas off that as well because that, that, I absolutely love it. Tactic number seven, and it's the first arrival of a strikerless tactic. What I love about today is we've seen so many different types of tactics. People are really going to work, aren't they? This is from my man Zisco. I 
I think he used this with Inter Milan and cleaned up two wide target men. I love this. I'm really intrigued to see how this is going to work. Now, he used it with AC Milan. He used it with, sorry, because he used Ibrahimovic on one side, Giroud on the other. How about Atlanta got the players? They've got Zapata. I think this might work. Let's have a look. Dun, dun, da, da. It had to happen, didn't it? It had to happen. And the tactic, the striker list one. We got sacked. I mean, not only did we get sacked, we got sacked on the 2nd of November. We hired on the 2nd of August. Sacked in November. We didn't last long. Do you know what? Not long at all. I think he's been hard done to there. If you look here, from Serie A, the first game against Bologna. Lost, but won against Fiorentina. Then the one, the next two, doing all right. Yes, had a bit of a dodgy patch here, including a five-nil hammering at home. But look at the way he responded: four-nil, four-nil, one-one, one-one, and they got sacked there. That was the last game on the back of a five-game undefeated streak. It's a very strange decision, really. But hey ho, we only lasted three months. But hey, what do you think? I think that's a bit harsh. But a tactic like that one that we had from Zisco, it's very specialised. When you simulate with the computer. They're probably not going to get it right, especially player picks as well. So I think it's a bit hard done by, so it's probably worth another test at some point. Now, the final tactic today is Krish Ball from Chris. We featured this tactic on the channel before because he's played 38, won 38 with his Barca team, but he had Mbappe. So how is it going to fare on a straight playoff against the other seven when he's Atalanta? It's another take on the 4 2 3 1, but he's using complete wing backs. So this is probably a bit more of an aggressive one. Ball playing defenders, complete wing backs, midfields, and Mazala combined with a deep line playmaker. Another lad who's not using many, if any, team instructions. I don't think there's any at all in this one. Nope. High line of engagement, big pressing tactic, lower tempo though, unlike the others. Interesting. Let's see how Atalanta take this one on board. Right, Champions League for Chris then. He's got in the Champions League, so he's beat a few of the boys, not as good as some of the other boys. It's kind of a middle of the road tactic, but Champions League with Atalanta, season one, pretty damn good result. In the other competitions, not much success out of the group stage of the Champions League and quarterfinals by Juve in the Coppa Italia. He did lead the league for quite a while, appearing in the second and first positions in winter time. Dropped away a little bit. Let's have a look in a bit more detail at his performance. Fourth position, only 28 goals conceded, but only 57 scored. So he's missing that on Bappe for this one, I think. And that's it, crew. Eight tactics put through the test with Atalanta in Serie A. Now, it's important to remember them boys have all had success with them tactics. That's why they submitted them. So it could be a case of some of them not working out because of the players on board. The Zisco tactic springs to mind. He had two perfect target men, wide target men for his Milan team. Probably not so much at Atalanta. And the boys can't make tweaks because it's just a simulation. But it's a good little guide and see what works. Give you guys some ideas as well. If you're interested in doing this sort of thing, I'm going to do some more of these. Be able to get into the Discord by becoming a Patron and get involved, sharing tactics, all that jazz. But massive thanks to the boys for throwing them tactics in, putting it out in the big wide world. I reckon some people will get some joy out of some of them tactics. Some of them are really nice. Awesome.